Support Name Explain on Patreon for ad-free videos, exclusive podcasts and blog posts, and to help choose what names get explained. Click the link in the description. The day after this video goes live is my birthday, and then I'm taking the following week off to relax, unwind, and just chill really. So it's safe to save the knowledge of my upcoming birthday and the following time off, I really wasn't in the zone to make a video for today. All I could think about was my birthday, opening my presents, unwinding, and of course, eating copious amounts of cake. But then I carried on thinking about cake. I thought about all the different kinds of cakes, and how they all have names, some more strange sounding than others. So to wrap things up for my birthday and my week off, I thought I'd make a fun that silly little video looking into how a variety of cakes got their names. But have no fear, as while there may be no new videos next week, I'll be back to my usual schedule from Monday the 14th of September. Anyway, let's kick things off with a personal favourite of mine, the Victoria Sponge Cake. Both parts of the name of this cake must seem pretty weird to someone who has never eaten one before. Why is it called Victoria, and is it made out of sponge? Well, while it isn't made out of actual sponge, the end result of this kind of cake is somewhat light, bouncy, full of little holes, and well, rather sponge-like I suppose. As for the Victoria part of this name, well it seems to come from the same route as to why many inanimate objects are called Victoria. The cake is named after Queen Victoria, who supposedly enjoyed this type of sponge cake so much of her afternoon tea, it was named after her. Next up we have Madeira cake, which just from the name alone may make you think it comes from the island of Madeira, one of Portugal's autonomous regions. However, like the Victoria sponge, this too is a British concoction. In fact, here in Britain we are rather fond of cake, so apologies if some of the cakes I mentioned are unheard of to you. Go watch some bake off to educate yourself. Anyway, back to Madeira cake. The word Madeira has two connotations. It is often linked to the island of the same name and the wine made on the island. So if it doesn't come from the island, is it made using the wine from the island? Well, once again, no. While this cake isn't made using Madeira wine, it was traditionally eaten while drinking the wine. As Madeira wine grew in popularity in Britain in the 19th century, people started eating it with a specific kind of cake and the cake would go on to be named after the wine, which was named after the island. And just to tick off the geographic etymology box for this video, the name of Madeira for this island comes from the Portuguese word for wood, as when the island was first settled by the Portuguese, it was thickly wooded. On to a bit of a downer now, we have depression cake. However, despite the name, the thing still looks pretty darn tasty, and I don't think I'll be too depressed after eating it. If you look at a list of ingredients for a depression cake, you'll notice it lacks classic cake ingredients like eggs, milk, butter, and even sugar. This is because this cake was created in the midst of the Great Depression, and these classic cake ingredients were much harder to come by. However, people simply couldn't not go without cake. So a recipe without these ingredients was whipped up and this new cake was named in honour of the time period in which it was created. Something that is far from depressing is Devil's Food Cake. Devil's Food Cake is a chocolate cake cranked up to 11. But what exactly is so devilish about this cake? Well in all honesty we aren't exactly sure. There seems to be a few ideas as to why this cake was brandished with the name of Beelzebub himself. One idea is that it was named this as the cake seemed like the polar opposite of another kind of cake in regards to taste and flavour. That cake being the angel's food cake. The devil and angel are seen as opposites, so this name was applied to this opposing cake. However, other theories come from the connotation the devil has as to being sinful and luring people into temptation. As this cake has such a rich, chocolatey taste, it's seen as being incredibly sinful to eat, especially if you're on a diet, and because of this you have to resist the temptation of eating it. It's as if this cake was created by Lucifer to be so rich and tempt you into being sinful and devouring it. China isn't really a country I link too much with cakes and baking in all honesty. However, there is a very Chinese cake I want to talk about today, that being moon cake. This cake is made and eaten during the mid-autumn festival, held on the 15th day of the 8th month of the lunar calendar. This celebration is seen as being as popular as Chinese New Year, despite the fact not as many people have heard of it in the West. The mid-autumn festival celebrates the harvest at the time which coincides with the lunar cycle slash calendar, so this celebration ties in very closely with the moon, hence why these cakes are called moon cakes. France, however, unlike China, is much more known for its bacon and cakes, with one cake of French origin being the opera cake. This cake is made up of layers of sponge cake soaked in coffee and laid with ganache and buttercream. Though, what has it got to do with the opera? Well, we aren't 100% sure. One idea is that it was originally called the Clichy cake, named in honour of its supposed creator, famed Parisian pastry chef Louis Clichy. However, another pastry chef named Cyriac Gavillon claimed to have invented the cake too, and he even claims to know why it was called the opera cake. So Supposedly his wife named it this in honour of a famed ballerina at the Paris Opera. However, the third story as to how this cake and name came about is that it was the Paris Opera themselves who invented it. The belief was that this coffee-heavy cake would keep patrons awake during the long operas. 
back to a British cake which doesn't have the most British of names, the Battenberg. This is another creation of Victorian Britain as they seem to love brightly coloured cakes and the checkerboard yellow and pink pattern of the Battenberg is certainly colourful. Though why is this British cake named after a town in Germany? Well it's thought that this cake was first created in 1884 to celebrate the wedding of Princess Victoria, Queen Victoria's granddaughter. She was marrying Prince Louis of Battenberg who was part of the prestigious German Battenberg family of course so it was in celebration of this marriage as to why the cake is such a German sounding name. And bonus fun fact, the markings on the side of police cars and ambulances here in the UK are known as Battenberg markings, in reference to the cake and its checkerboard pattern. Tiramisu isn't so much a cake but more a type of dessert, however people have adapted it into a type of cake and it's got an interesting name so I want to talk about it anyway. The name of tiramisu means things along the lines of pick me up slash lift me up slash cheer me up and there's a few reasons as to why they think its name means this. One is simply because it's very tasty so eating it would have been a pick me up indeed. However the other idea is much more salacious. The dessert was seen traditionally in Italy as something of an aphrodisiac and tons of the dessert was made in quote unquote casinos of Italy as they were known. Men would eat the tiramisu afterwards and it would give them a pick me up so they could get straight back to the action, for lack of a better phrase. All above is a Mongolian type of cake I had never heard of, however after seeing it and learning about its name I couldn't not mention it. This cake is baked and eaten during the Mongolian New Year celebration. This cake has a very unique look to it, being long and flat, and its shape relates to its name, as the name means shoe sole cake, which makes a ton of sense as this cake looks an awful lot like the sole of a shoe. And finally for a bit of controversy, let's talk about the Jaffa cake. If you are from the UK, then you'll know why there's controversy behind these cakes. Many people don't see them as cakes but rather as biscuits as they're the same shape as biscuits and sold along with the biscuits. However many also see it as a type of cake as they're spongy, light cakes and they have cake in their name. Let me know if you think it's a cake or biscuit down below. But instead of focusing on the cake part of this name for now, let's look into the Jaffa part of this name. Jaffa cakes are made out of a sponge cake and chocolate with a dab of orange slash apricot jam between them. It's from this jam as to where the name comes from. As it's an orange flavoured jam, it was named after the Jaffa oranges which were first produced in the ancient city of Jaffa, which is now a part of Tel Aviv in the nation of Israel. Anyway, that's just 10 kinds of cakes. How there are so many more I wanted to talk about? Fairy cakes, red velvet cakes, and I even read about a cake by the name of Better Than Sex Cake. Perhaps we can cover these cakes and more for my birthday next year. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Patreon is vital to Name Explain and donating just $2 a month allows you to enjoy ad-free videos and bonus patron exclusive content. It also allows you to help choose what names get explained in upcoming videos and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you so much for all the support you guys give Name Explain. Hello all, thank you so much for reaching the end of the video. Check out another video and subscribe to stay in the loop on all things Name Explain. You can find me on Twitter, I'm at Name Explain YT. On Instagram, I'm also Name Explain YT. And on Facebook, just search Name Explain. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And once again, thank you all so much.